Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I reviewed how you can run R scripts in Tableau to perform hypothesis testing. Today, I want to talk about how you can perform customized analysis using Python in Tableau. Python is a popular programming language used by many business applications. It includes many statistical and machine learning tools. Using Python in Tableau, will allow you to incorporate your Python scripts and use Tableau to visualize the results from your analysis. To use Python in Tableau, you need to install the Tableau Python server, which is also called TabPy. You can download TabPy from the GitHub repository. I've put the link to this repository here, and I will also put the link to the TabPy repo in the description box below. If you're familiar with Git, you can clone the TabPy directly using the command line here. Once you download or clone the repo, run the command to install TabPy. After TabPy has been installed, you can type the name to start the Python server. Now you need to go to Tableau to configure the connection. Open the Help menu from the Tableau navigation bar. Go to Settings and Performance and choose Manage External Service Connection. In the pop-up window, choose TabPy slash External API as the external service. You need to fill in the server and the port fields. If your TabPy runs on the same machine as the Tableau desktop, then the server is localhost. The port number is 9004. But if you have TabPy installed on a different machine, then you have to provide the host name of the machine on which TabPy runs. Also make sure you check the firewall and confirm that it doesn't block the port. Click the Test Connection button. Tableau will show successfully connected to the external service if the connection works. It will throw an error message if the connection fails. In that case, you will need to check the error log to fix the issue. Similar to running R scripts in Tableau, you can leverage the Tableau calculated fields to run the Python scripts. For example, I want to use Python to calculate the correlation coefficient and the p-value between the total sales and discount in 2019. Create a new calculated field called correlation coefficient. Because the correlation coefficient is a real number, so I apply the script real function. Then put the Python script with quotes within the parentheses. First import the scipy stats module, then apply the Pearson R function from the scipy stats module. This function will return a tuple which contains both the correlation coefficient and the p-value. The first element of the tuple is the correlation coefficient. Please note, that you need to use underscore arg1 and underscore arg2 as placeholders of the input variables in the Python script. Then you need to declare the Tableau fields to use as inputs to calculate the correlation coefficient. Similar to how I calculate the correlation coefficient, I can also apply the same Pearson R function and return the second element from the tuple to show the p-value of the correlation coefficient. Now you can visualize the results in Tableau. Drop the year and month of order date to the columns shelf. Drop the sum of sales and discount fields to the rows shelf. Make the sum of discount field dual access. Go to the marks card and change the chart type to line chart. Drop the measure names field to color mark and drop the year and month of order date to the detail mark. Drop the newly created correlation coefficient and p-value fields to tooltip. You can see that there seems to be a pretty strong positive correlation between total sales and discount over time in 2019. The correlation coefficient is close to 0.9, with p-value also highly statistically significant. To answer the question that if customers who have made purchases in 2019 
also received large discounts. You may want to apply additional stats method to provide a more accurate understanding of the relationship between sales and discount. Here, I apply a simple lowest regression model. It's a type of local regression and it will fit the weighted scatter plot smoothing line. Create a new calculated field called lowest fitted value. Inside the calculation, I apply the lowest function from the stats models API module. It returns the smooth line with the predicted discount value for each of the sales amount. Once done, you can visualize the fitted lowest smoothing line in Tableau. First, drop the sum of sales field to the columns shell. Drop the sum of discount field to the rows shell. Change the chart type to scatter plot. Then drop the lowest fitted value field to the rows shell and make it a dual access. Make sure you also synchronize the secondary axis with the primary y-axis for a total discount. Go to the marks card of the secondary axis and change the chart type to line chart. Drop the order date field to the detail mark. Click to edit the table calculation of the lowest fitted value. Choose to compute the fitted values using the order date dimension Make sure you sort the order by the sum of sales in an ascending order. Doing this, you basically tell Tableau to show the smoother line from the left to the right based on the values of the total sales amount. As you can see from the lowest regression line, there seems to be a nonlinear relationship between total sales and discount in 2019. The predicted value shows that as sales increases at the beginning, the discount also increases by a lot. But as sales further increases, the discount no longer increases much and even drops as you go further to the right of the x-axis. You can also visualize your analysis and results, including the linear correlation coefficient and the lowest smoothing line in a dashboard like this. Also, if you want to visualize the actual correlation coefficient and the p-value in a chart, you will need to create a new blank sheet and then add these two calculated fields to the title section of the sheet. Then you can overlay this sheet to your chart to visualize the calculated Pearson correlation coefficient and p-value between total sales and discount. Okay, I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.